Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. Today we are doing an eye look using blues, orange, and browns all inspired by a painting. And so today's eye look is inspired by that. For 99% of the eye look, we will be using Makeup Geek eyeshadows. Makeup Geek's eyeshadows are my favorite. They go on easy and wonderful. I did recently purchase a new eyeshadow from MAC in a light blue. So I did want to try that in with this eye look, but the, the other blues and oranges and browns are all from Makeup Geek. So if you want to see how I've done this eye look, please stay tuned. We have the Anastasia Beverly Hills in chocolate for the eyebrows. I've already prepped and primed my face with foundation. I'm going to take a flat brush and go in with the Painterly Paint Pot from MAC. I'm going to use Vanilla Bean by Makeup Geek to go over the entire eye and set that Painterly Pot. Now that we have that set, okay, so I use the vanilla bean to set the painterly paint pot. That just gives um, a nice foundation and makes it easier to blend and smooth. So the, the next color I'm going to take is Desert Stand, Desert Stands, Desert Sands, and this is by Makeup Geek also. It shouldn't be any surprise to anyone that sees me use Makeup Geek because I love me some Marlena. She's really done a great job at giving the makeup community strong, strong products at a fraction of what we were used to paying. So props to the Makeup Geek. Crease and moving this up as our transition color and we will move that towards the brow bone. So the Desert Sands is just gonna give a nice transition color for what is to come next. And what's coming next is a bit of orange. We are going to use Poppy, and Poppy is a bright orange, so we are going to put that in the crease and go a little up towards that transition color. Bring Poppy out a little bit. And Poppy just provides a pop of color. I'm slurping coffee break. I didn't mean to slurp. Okay, the next color is going into our crease. We're gonna build on top of the Poppy with some Morocco. And Morocco is a nice bold orange, but it's going to be a little bit warmer than the poppy. So we're just going to add that on top and warm that poppy up with some Morocco. And that's just going to go in our crease. And by the way, I haven't changed my brush. I've just, as I'm building color, I have been building it with the same brush. And it is a Morphe 441. So as you can see, this Morocco is stunning and dark. So we're gonna take a, and I didn't hardly use any on the brush, which is another kudos to Marlena's job with her 
eyeshadows is they're pigmented. So not only are they inexpensive, but you get more than what you pay for. Okay, we're gonna take a Morphe 510 brush and soften and blend and soften and blend. Okay, so we softened, softened, it's gonna be one of those days. We have softened and blended. And I'm actually going to switch over to a MAC shadow called Tilt. I just got this one. It's kind of a blue poppy-ish color and it's just pretty. I'm going to take a flat brush. This is from Wet n Wild. And I'm going to take this probably almost halfway in on the lid. This kind of gives it an unexpected color to mix with that Morocco and poppy and vanilla bean. We're gonna head back to some Makeup Geek and this is gonna be Nautica. I'm gonna take Nautica on a defined crease brush. Sorry, that didn't film well. And this defined crease brush is from Makeup Geek. So I'm gonna go in a little bit on top of the blue and in between the orange to kind of Darken that up a bit. And here comes the peps. Basically, we're taking Nautica to just a tad bit in, maybe a quarter of the eye, maybe a fifth. <laughs> you have to be a math genius. Well, you know that ain't true for me. Okay, next we're gonna use Bada Bing, which is another color from Makeup Geek, and we're going to define the outer crease. And I'm going to stay with that defined crease brush. So we're just gonna take it a little bit outside of that Nautica blue. Swirling in a circle, smoke it out, and then I'll lightly start going right above and into the transition color. We're gonna need to blend, blend, blend. Picking up any product that may have fallen and dabbing back in some foundation. Okay, so I'm going to use the Tardiest. It is a two-sided eye pencil and we are going to use the pencil side, not the liquid side, to smoke out the waterline. Because I do want to take the bottom beam. And I'm actually using a little mini concealer brush. So I'm going to take the mini concealer brush with Bada Bing on it and I'm going to go right up in that 
eyelash line. And I'm gonna take that up into the bottom being on the outer corner. So by mixing those two, I've kind of softened that harsh line that was in the waterline and then gave a nice blended look underneath. I will go back in with some Morocco on that same brush. Now, if you remember, Morocco is extremely pigmented. So I'm gonna start a little bit towards the inner corner. And work my way right on top of that bada bing but down just a little bit so I have a nice little baby line of Morocco the upper eyeliner I'm going to go in with the L'Oreal Espresso which is one of my favorites and go-to's as you guys have seen in other videos I've tried other gel liners and they just don't perform like this one does. Gel or cream, it just not the same. My eyes are really watery, and this one just seems to stand up against all of my allergies. And on top, we are going to use some Brilliant Shine Lip Gloss from Milani, and this is in color Nude Touch. And we're not going to finish the lashes, or we're not. We are gonna finish the lashes. We didn't forget them. So we're just gonna add a couple coats of mascara to the top lashes and blend the our lashes, my lashes, not your lashes into the false lashes. And that concludes this look. Next is hair. I know you have the opportunity to watch many beautiful artists and I just want to say thank you for taking the time to watch one of my videos. Please consider subscribing and if you've already subscribed, I would appreciate it if you referred me to a friend. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I do want to say thank you again for your time. I know your time is valuable and the fact that you spent it with me means more to me than you will ever know. I do appreciate it. Thank you very much and make it a beautiful day.